Today's episode is sponsored by Vitality Health Rx Supplements. Whether you're an athlete, a busy professional, or just someone looking to prioritize health, Vitality Health Rx has what you need. With premium ingredients and rigorous quality control, their supplements support your body's natural functions. Visit shopvrx.com and use code FEELGREAT15 for 15% off your first order. Thanks to Vitality Health Rx for sponsoring this episode. Now let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the Feel Better, Feel Great podcast, where each episode we dive into the wonders of holistic health and functional medicine to empower you with the knowledge you need to lead a healthier, happier life. I'm your host, Dr. Andrea McSwain. Today we're exploring transitioning to fall, holistic tips for immune and skin health, episode 134. Please remember that the information provided in this podcast is for educational purposes only. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with your questions regarding your medical condition or health objectives. Well, welcome. Um, I'm very excited as we transition into fall to talk about how we can do that even more successfully. And we're discussing two vital areas of health today, your skin and your immune system. As fall brings cooler weather and changes in the season, the routines change. This does pose unique challenges to both the immune system and skin health. But did you know that your skin health and your immune system are closely connected? Today, uh, I'll answer more of that, um, explaining that the skin is the barrier to your body. And so it is paramount that we Uh, help it so that your immune system is stronger. The other area that's part of your immune system is your lymphatic system. And I want to talk to you about different techniques like lymphatic drainage, osteopathic manipulation treatments that can boost immune function and how you can support your skin during the fall transition with nourishing products and proper care. And while you can treat your skin with these products, you can also support your immune system with these products and techniques. Okay, so the fall skin health transition is a big deal. The temperature drops, the humidity changes, the furnaces turn on, um, skin, including mucous membranes, become dry and dehydrated. Then the immune system faces cold air, wind, uh, And all these contribute to further dehydration and moisture loss. Okay, you might think in a lot of times that people talk about skincare that it's just cosmetic. But healthy skin plays an essential place in protecting the body from environmental stresses and pathogens. It is, after all, your first line of defense. When we look at nourishing the skin during fall, we definitely want to emphasize the importance to thinking about hydrating skin products. We also want to think about some other issues related to changes in the environment that means we might want to be supporting our skin with more protective nutraceuticals or nutrients on our skin so that they get stronger. Okay, so we also want to think about, of course, retaining moisture and repairing the skin barrier during this time. Uh, That is very important because the skin does get dry and cracked, and as a result, it compromises the immune barrier of the skin. So I do want you to know about KPS Essentials. I have to tell you, in having a working relationship with them for over six years, and the amount of support we have been able to help in the healing of the skin and the immune system through KPS basically mandates that I talk to you about it. Because when you have an approach about skin, that it's an organ, that it needs to be fed, nourished, supported, that it's also part of your immune system, right? And then you look at changes and we transition into fall, we want to make sure we're getting what our body needs in all the organ systems and the overall systems like our lymphatic system and our immune system. We want to think about Uh, These nutrients that are rich in antioxidants, fatty acids are really important. Um, We'll talk about hyaluronic acid now and always. Um, And then also we have to make sure that as the skin is having turnover and we're not outside 
as much or we're outside but we have a lot of protective clothes on, we need to make sure that we're doing an, an exfoliation routine to remove those dead skin cells. So I realize that sometimes people think about, you know, affordability or how do I get to these things? But even looking at home care routines can provide nourishment during the fall. One of my favorite little hacks is to put coconut oil on before taking a shower. Adding coconut oil to your skin before taking a shower will improve the lipophilic barrier, so the, the fat-liking barrier, and that will actually allow for hydration to stay into the skin better. And I love coconut oil. It's very helpful. Um, it is a good, healthy fat, so that means it also supports your immune system and skin integrity, but it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. So it's a macronutrient, but it doesn't hold a lot of those micronutrients that our skin needs. But it's a really good, quick hack. So now another favorite topic of mine is osteopathic manipulation techniques, even for something like the immune system. A lot of times when people think about body work, right, they think about the musculoskeletal system. They think about moving the muscles or getting that elbow into the glute. That's a good one, by the way just in general, to help things get stronger, build your core. But anyway, back to the point. Um, when we look at osteopathic techniques, we can look at other systems besides the musculoskeletal system. And today I want to highlight the immune system with this. So when we look at the immune system, the way that a lot of people think about how to handle this is lymphatic drainage. So again, your lymphatic system is an entire... Um, a, a system that supports the entire body, right? So obviously, um, its ability to go through your entire system really matters. Um, and so when we have lymphatic drainage um, as a method to support your immune system, we're able to help clear toxins, improve circulation, and also recognize that the skin is in many ways a potential space to hold fluid or to hold waste or lymphatic congestion. And when it does that, the skin will get thicker, um, it'll get fuller, and oftentimes it will harbor waste in it, which will be very disruptive to the skin barrier. And that's oftentimes when people see eczema come up or skin cracks, red patches on their skin, not just their hands, but it could be in their elbows, um, it could be at their knees, their feet, um, it can be ar around their chin, their neck, I mean, any number of places. It can even be on the central part of the body. So when that happens, there's an overwhelm going on. And then we need to move those things out. So when we look at that, um, we think, okay, well, how can body work help with the immune system? But we really see that these things can make a big change. When I'm in the office and um, people have stagnation, so they might have a, this is a good one, the flu. So when people have the flu or the residuals of the flu, you have to recognize that the lymphatic system is really an anti-gravity system that comes and brings waste up. So when people are struggling with the flu or a virus or chronic, very serious conditions like Lyme, or they have cancer, all these things, we want to move the lymphatics, that, the waste products out. And so the, the lymphatic system gets stagnant because we're not moving so much maybe, or maybe we have a lot to move out. And what happens then is kind of this whole band of the arms and the chest is kind of over full with lymphatic waste. And what can happen there is we look at potential spaces. Potential spaces are anywhere something can get clogged. And the body has a lot of potential spaces or spaces where fluid can get in and kind of serve as like a reservoir and have residual waste there. And some important areas are under the inside here, sorry, the back of the upper arm where the triceps live. That is a potential space. A lot of people will see that because they have this like sagginess that develops over time. And sometimes you can literally see the bone probably not the muscle and then you could see this kind of bag that sits when they move their arm like this and there's a lot of gravity you'll feel this like they'll see this like drag right and that is a potential space to harbor lymphatic waste and we can move that out so I can move that out with osteopathic manipulation techniques and I'm happy to say that we also have that available to the public 
through our KPS exclusive medical spa, where our estheticians are trained um, in two parts. One, adding nutraceuticals to the skin, nourishing the tissue to help remove waste. And then also, I have given them some techniques to facilitate the movement of those products, of those waste products out. Now, I will tell you, there's a huge difference, right, between uh, a cranial sacral manipulation specialist, right, as predominant in my field for osteopathic manipulation, and an esthetician who is trained in um, a briefer program, right? They need years spending time with me to develop some of those skills. But their secret weapon is those KPS products. And those KPS products are designed to really nourish and remove the waste. So it clears up the skin. It clears up the space underneath the skin. It improves the waste removal from those areas. And the technique that we use through KPS Essentials is called Slimsage. So we're adding all these nutrients that the body just loves to heal with. And we're doing it in a very organized, methodical pattern. And the estheticians are doing this in the medical spa. And when they're doing this, they're using a few of the skills that I have offered them. But in no means are they providing osteopathic manipulation. And no means are they adding a lot of that. Their secret weapon is really how KPS works in the skin. Now, their application can really vary. And I will tell you, when you spend years working with me, then you will under, then our estheticians really do form an understanding of how some of those techniques can be applied during the slimsage practice. So I did want to tell you that, you know, you want to look for a KPS Essentials um, slimsage spa in your area if you're outside of the area um, of Michigan. Um, we have them available in Lansing and Grand Rapids. Both of our estheticians are wonderful um, and we do more and more training all the time. But the reason I'm saying this is because no body worker is exactly the same. And I just want to talk to you about how when you are thinking about who to see and affordability, sometimes it's difficult to find an osteopathic manipulation therapist who's a physician in your um, community. You can look to uh, the American Osteopathic Association. You can search osteopathic manipulation uh, in my community or near me. Those are really good things to do. Um, but you can also look at kpsessentials.com and you can see if they offer slimsage in your community. And if they do, you are going to receive an exceptional treatment to help support your skin you're going to receive an exceptional support of your lymphatic system. And yes, pregnant women can receive these treatments and so can patients who have cancer. In fact, KPS is the only skincare line that all of their products are approved by the Oncology Institute. That's impressive. That shows they care. It shows us the medical spa that you're working with that they care about you and giving you the best. Because the last thing you want is to go to a place that is trying to offer you lymphatic therapies, but they're using chemicals. And in fact, they can't even really have the esthetician touch you or to do the work because the chemicals that they're applying require the esthetician to remove their hands from your skin. Okay, so that's something very telling. If you're working with an esthetician, but they can't continue to kind of work that product in and support that product and support the way the body works, by moving and using some principles of basic principles of body work, then you know that those products are likely full of chemicals and they really shouldn't be on your skin because that is then reducing the integrity of the barrier of the immune system, which is your skin. That is then depleting the hydration, the nutrition elements. And that is therefore requiring the body to now have more obligatory dedication to healing the skin after these treatments, as opposed to finding these therapeutics that really help open these areas and really help heal the tissues and therefore help the organ systems improve and therefore help your entire body improve. And that's what we're really going for. What can you do that might seem small, relaxing, calming, and healing at the same time. So those are some things I really wanted you to think about. There are many lymphatic drainage techniques that you can use at home. 
Um, we actually have a course on that in DR McSwain. We offer some of those tips and techniques on our Instagram for Brilliance Medical Spa and through MI Center HM Instagram. Um, and so those are some important concepts that I just want to impart. Um, I really feel like fall is a beautiful season of change, uh, especially if you're in a place where you can see that change happening to the foliage, to the trees, and their transitions um, from summer to fall and then into winter. Um, and then you can think about, okay, if they're having changes, what kind of changes are also happening in my body, right? So those are the things that you want to appreciate with transition, relish these times, and really think about, okay, I can enjoy them even more if I spend a little bit of thought or preparation on how it's going to impact me and how my needs are going to change in these seasons and in these times. Of course, you know, the, what you do for ho at home matters. What you do in these little kind of moments of 45 seconds really matter. Um, and then seeking professionals that can support you in these things to really bring it home, to really make it great. Uh, it's really important to think about the home therapeutics, the everyday, the lifestyle, and then it's also really important to find ways to amplify those uh, home therapeutics and the things you do every day with working with professionals who are like-minded to you and care about you in thinking about, you know, your nutrient support, your healing support, thinking about you and your organ systems, right? Thinking about you as a holistic person and how to integrate all those pieces together. I want to thank you for joining us today as we explored all these ideas. Um, we definitely kind of took, you know, the idea of skin health, immune health, the fall, what can you do at home? What do you want support with? You know, who to really help you find a good practitioner to support you? Because that is foundational. And then, you know, what it really means to to get better, what it means to handle transition. I hope that you found that today's topic resonated with you. I'd love for you to subscribe to our podcast, leave a review, and share it with family and friends. So many people are dealing with health issues that really can be helped by what we discussed today, what I presented today, and also the resources that I provided you today. Um, there is another episode coming up soon. And details for this episode are in the description. Again, I want to bring attention to the online courses that we have in this area and some of the social media support that we have as well. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate your ongoing support and your engagement and feedback make all of this worthwhile. Until next time, stay healthy and feel great.